Hello ladies and gentlemen and today we are back at it again. We've got some monstrously good tides coming up. So yeah, we're gonna try and hunt some of the bigger species today. Still got a couple hours left before we get down to low tide. So I'm gonna have a prod and a poke, sorry, around some of the gullies and hopefully some more of the uh, better exposed holes. Target species for today, brown edible crabs, lobsters if we get lucky, and those are big spider crabs. Still haven't found one this year yet. Found a lot of small ones, but yeah. It's the big males we're after, but it's the way it goes sometimes. We'll see what we can find. I'm just gonna have a prod and a poke around and uh, give you all a show and tell if we come across anything interesting as well. See you in a while. Well folks, first find of the day. <laughs> Another small little spider crab just down there. Let's uh, give you a show. Little female. Actually missing parts of her claws and legs, unfortunately. She's got some really awesome blue colorations on her as well. Yeah. Must be some form of growth on her. Nothing that would be any form of seriousness, but yeah. Never seen a uh, blue spider crab like that before. Pretty awesome. Get that back in the hole, she was just literally up in there. We'll put her back in. Back in you go, Missy. You go back in your hole. Yeah, cool little find. I've never seen a blue spider crab before. Well, folks, I'm not sure if you were to see it from up here. Literally right in the center of the frame right now, right down the back there, this guy here is a Dahlia anemone. As long as I didn't butcher that pronunciation. Yeah. It's another little find. They can get quite big and be pretty spectacular when the uh, sun's on them. Hopefully. When we get some underwater stuff going, we'll be able to give you a much better show of stuff like that. Let's see if we have anybody down in this one today. And yeah, down in the back there. If you can see, hopefully it will pick it up right down the back there. We have a brown edible crab. So yeah, I don't think he's big enough to keep, but we'll get him out and have a see. I'll have a quick prod around here. This is the same place where I found a male and a female not too long ago. That would have been a mating pair. Yep, I'll dig them out, set this up, and let's see if we can uh, give you a show and tell.
Ah, my battle of the day was won. There we go. This one's not in size, unfortunately. I won't drag the female one out. Ah, oh. yeah. Nice male, too small to keep. Yeah, I won't drag the female one out because she is super, super soft in there. So yeah, that's what I mean by um, it does take a bit of time. Nearly 10 minutes, in fact. So we've got this guy out. Yeah. Lovely male though. Just a bit too small. But yeah, we'll leave the missus in there because um, she is super soft. And we'll see what else we can find today. He's back in there. And off he goes. Yeah, I've just had a uh, fear of the shell of the other crab in there, the female one. And she is super, super, super soft, honestly. So I'm not going to mess around trying to get her out. I don't want to damage or kill her by doing something wrong. So yeah, we'll leave them to it. It's another mated pair that are in there. Seems to be a lot of them recently, which is uh, lovely to see. Let's have another prod and a poke still as we move on up this gully. Now up here, not too far up, just by the top of the waterline there. That's where I found that monstrous crab the other day. So we'll make our way up and I'll have a look up there and I'll get back to you guys in a moment. Well, nothing in that hole today there, folks. It's a shame. So I'm gonna make my way back down the gully and out and around. You can see it's whizzing out now. Should end up being a lovely tide. So we're gonna make our way out and around, down and over, checking out some of the other gullies and hopefully end up somewhere over there. Around that sort of area is where I found a conger eel. So hopefully we've got some of the holes and um, other places over there exposed again today because it would be lovely to find some more creatures for you. But yep, we're still looking for larrys. Still looking for the big browns and we're still looking for big spider crabs if we can find them. So let's see what we can do. Literally just here where the foraging hook is, we have another brown edible crab. Doesn't look like too bad a size. I'm not sure it's, if it's going to be in size though. But again, we'll dig them out and we'll give you guys a show. Right, hopefully you guys can see well enough. See if I can get this guy out. So, yep, nice and solid. Scrape away some of this sand and some of these rocks. Gives us a better perch. And we've got a few goodies under there as well. Uh, just a couple of small shore crabs and some little furrow crabs. Oh, there you go. Yep, teeny tiny little crabs. the big guy in the back that we want. Oh, it's female. So yeah. Another female crab there, and again, she probably peeled a few days ago, she seemed quite solid, but no, she's actually really soft. So yeah, again, that's why I uh, dug away all that sand and stuff like that, it's to make the extraction a lot easier and quicker. Now, I don't think, no. Just her, so she's probably peeled. Oh, if I bring you guys over. Yeah, she would have peeled recently and she's probably already mated. There's no male in the back of there. But yeah, we'll uh, let this lovely lady go. Yeah, awesome. Get you back in there, love. Get you back into your hidey hole. Away you go. Get her gone. And she'll settle down and we'll put this rock back in there as well. Always make sure, no matter what you're doing there, folks, you get your rocks and you uh, put them back. 
Remember, all the other species of wildlife and stuff depends on it. Well, the forecast did say it was going to get better. Still a little bit windy on the odd occasion, but yeah, absolutely stunning. Again, I know I've said it on probably every single video, but this is exactly why I absolutely and utterly love doing this. It is just absolutely amazing. You never know what you're going to find. You could come down a hundred times to the same spot and you can always find something different. And on days like this, yeah, it's just phenomenal. Absolutely and utterly phenomenal. I love it, I really do. And I hope you guys enjoy this adventure with me. I hope you've all been enjoying the videos I've been posting so far as well. There's plenty more to come in the future and there's lots of different things planned as well. So yeah, as I said, anything you can think of you'd like me to do, anywhere you'd like me to go and explore, any castles, any other sites of historical value, or any other beaches or coastline around Devon and Cornwall, leave your comments down below and I'll see what I can do. Now, I know I said we were after the bigger creatures today, but that rainbow rack is simply stunning. Blues, greens and purples within that. I love that stuff. Even though it's dying back this time of year. Yeah, it's still pretty incredible to see. A nice big clump like that. Absolutely beautiful. Hopefully you can see him back down there. We have a lovely sized velvet swimming crab. Yeah. Nice size. Not the uh, big brown head that we want though. You very fat there, fella. Well there, ladies and gents. I've come back to the same hole that I found the conger in. I haven't found much out here, unfortunately, apart from another ball of uh, moving seaweed. Yeah. So the hole that I found the conger in is just around there, which is empty, unfortunately, today. And just in that little spot and that little pool down there. This little fella. Little marching ball of seaweed. So yeah, we'll pop him back in. They're always so funny. Off he goes. <laughs> oh, they're hilarious. Yeah, unfortunately, I haven't really found much We're out into the sort of the uh, area that's pretty hard to get to. And then, even though we've got a nice tide, it's still been pretty hard to get to. With all this thong and wire weed around, it's been an absolute nightmare. You can barely move in the stuff. It's even thicker than when I was here last time. So hopefully at some point soon it will uh, start to grow back a bit because it is an absolute and utter nightmare to get through, let me tell you that. But yeah, I haven't really found much at the moment, which is a bit disappointing for being out here, but we've still got quite a few uh, decent places to check. We've still got about another five, ten minutes before we hit low tide, so quickly move around as best I can and see what else I can get to show you. All right there, ladies and gents, I've just come to this little area here. There's a couple of little holes going around and at the back down there, which I'll get to in a moment, there's some huge dig dugout mounds of sand as you can see down there. Now that's normally, especially that size, where you could be a lobster or a big crab. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed indeed, we have something back there. In the meantime, I'm just going to quickly check down in this area as we move on up, just to see. I don't want to miss anything. Nothing down there. Right. Move on over. Let's do one at a time. Let's see if we've got anything. Oh, that's just a uh, velvet swimmer in there. There he goes. I haven't seen these guys for a little while, not in big quantities like I have today. Yeah. So, with a crab being in there, that tells me there's no lobster in this hole. Because if there was, the lobster wouldn't be very happy. And we'll try and turf it out. Be careful as I move along because it's still super slippery. Velvet swimming crab just come shooting back around and try to dart back into his little house. Alright, anything back here?
<laughs> Nothing there. Alright, moving along around. Yeah, you can see all this dugout sand down there. Hopefully that means something has decided to uh, remain. Without keeping you all waiting for much longer, let's go have a look, say. Move some of the seaweed and stuff out of the way. See if we have anything down here today. Let's get some of this. Seaweed out of the way. See what we can find. Oh, wow. That goes pretty deep. Hmm. Can't feel anything in there. And with there being seaweed in this one, I don't think there's going to be anything back here. Normally, lobsters will keep their holes. Extremely clean and tidy. Ah, oh, it's such a shame. I'm disappointed. All that hype. And it looks like we have two massive empty digouts. We'll have a prod around anyway. Let's see if we can find anything. Definitely nothing in there. Let's get rid of this seaweed a minute. The other one's a bit cleaner, but it is a lot deeper. See if I can get back in there a bit more. Oh, that goes so far back. Much, much further than what my hook can reach, unfortunately. Ah, oh, well, I'm disappointed with that. That looked like an absolutely perfect spot. Literally, absolutely perfect spot to find a Larry in. Wouldn't get much better than that, unfortunately. But no, nope, nobody home today. I say, lobsters normally keep their holes pretty clean and tidy, but big digouts like that, that's exactly what you're looking for for the bigger lobsters. It's like they've managed to um, scurry out at some point. Well, folks, that is me done. The tide is now on the turn. Hope you've enjoyed adventuring with me today. At least we found two out of our three target species, even if this year we haven't found a nice big male spider crab. But here's to hoping we may still be able to catch one soon. It's pretty much the end of spider crab season, so you know I have my doubts. But yeah, if we do, fantastic. If not, we'll, we'll wait till next year and get some more, hopefully. Fingers crossed. But yeah, it's been a lovely day. Weather has turned, it's all brightened up. It's just been fantastic down here and I've enjoyed every minute of it. I hope you still have enjoyed watching these videos. And as I say, from my adventure to yours, stay safe and have a good day.